Hi everyone, welcome to Grand Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about is your ESXi host compatible? How to verify hardware compatibility matrix easily? Okay, so as we are aware, within our VMware ESXi host version, the latest version is 8, and recently VMware released ESXi 8.0 update 2 as well. And most of the organizations, they are already upgrading to ESX 8 series and some are upgrading to ESX update 2 and some are still using 7.0 update 3. They are planning to upgrade from 7 series to 8 series and there are some chances uh, some of the edge customers they are still using 6.7 and even those customers also whenever we have a customer engagement we would recommend to migrate their ESX 6.7 and 7 series version we recommend to upgrade to the ESX 8 latest patch 8.0 update 2. So during this scenario one most common question is whether our hardware is compatible with the latest version esxi 8 or not so that is a one common key question whenever we go for a either hardware tech refresh or when we plan to do a ESXi host upgrade scenarios or update scenarios. Update means it's only patching, upgrade means version change. So any of these scenarios, one of the key a key item is we have to validate our hardware compatibility whether the ESXi host is good to proceed with the latest version upgrade or not so I will show you how we can validate this compatibility checks so let me log into the open a, any browser and Google you can just type in the Google VMware compatibility when we type VMware compatibility in Google it will directly redirect it to the first page is VMware compatibility guide system search when we use this portal a direct official VMware compatibility guide portal we can see all our hardware information let's say we can see the ESXi product release versions 8.0 update 2 and all versions 8.0 update 1 update 2 and similarly n minus 1 means n 7.0 update 3 update 2 and so on uh, based on my experience i understand still some customers 6.7 most of the customers uh, i think no one in the 6.5 series almost all customers migrated to 6.7 7 and 8 series so this scenario we can choose the relevant version which version we are planning to upgrade or you can choose all select the specific version and partner name which hardware partner we are going to utilize let's say there are n number of partners so within that n number of partners whatever the partner wherever uh, across the globe which country or which location which partner we are planning to utilize that partner information we have to choose here let's say for example i'm taking the example of havelet packet enterprise hpe so when you select this uh, minimally what is the hardware ESXi host version and hardware partner name and also within that there will be a multiple models of servers like uh, generally servers have a three form factors which includes tower rack mount and blade servers so within these three form factors specific form factor if you are looking if you are looking for a only the blade server select blade and if you have any idea on all other features information cpu information and also the specific hardware mother vmotion compatibility information you can choose just in case if you are unsure minimally we should know about esx version hardware partner and which which type of server we not we are planning to utilize either a rack mount tower server or blade server or if you want to check for all randomly you can select all okay for testing purpose i selected esx 8.0 latest version update 2 and hpe and blade server when you click on update and view results you will find the view results currently the supported versions are all are the hpe all the supported edge line models and synergy model these are all the blade servers these blade servers are supported for 8.0 update 2. even if you want to export this list also you can just select the list the complete list is this is the list if you see here all synergy 480 gen 10 models and as well as there will be a 48 uh, synergy 480 gen 11 models and if you see there will be no gen 9 models because the version is already we selected latest version for example if i select a 7.0 update 3 and click on update and view results just to verify the difference if you see here there will be some models even the gen 9 also supporting that means the Gen 9 model supported only until the ESX 7.0 update 3 and it won't support for 8 series. 
if I select 8.0 and update the view results, you can see all supporting models are Gen 11, Generation 10, and also the Generation 11 models. Gen 9 is not supported. So if your customer hardware, any hardware is running with the Gen 9 model, we can recommend to the customer, this is supported until 7.0 update 3 only. We cannot upgrade to the 8 series. Okay, that is one example. And similarly for other hardware also, even if you have any specific hardware, you can choose the specific hardware models and select it accordingly. For example, if I select as a Dell and click on update results, even Dell also have a, all the update models, all the listed here within the blade model. Suppose if you want to check for a rack mode server, select rack mode and choose the appropriate hardware. Let's say again, HPE, click on update results. You can see right within rack mode, these are all the supported models. Okay, so if you want to extract this information, there is an option to export into the CSV file. When we select export CSV, you will file, uh, find the CSV file will be downloaded. And if you see here, all the support models are available here within a HPE and the different CPU model and the form factor is a rack mount is the form factor and the model. Suppose if you have any specific model, just control F and check the specific models. Okay, and with interest of our time, this all the information I updated within our slide. Uh, let's back to the slide. I will show you. I took the example of HPE. If you see HPE rack mount servers, these are all the supported rack mount server. I shown you how we can extract. We can extract to the CSV file, and when you filter uh, segregate into the all into one order, these are all the supported models. If you see Alatra model and HPE Cray model, Edge Line, Simplivity models, and within Simplivity also all Gen 10, and also within a Proliant, we have a different models. It's supported for both Gen 10 and Gen 11 models. Gen 10 have a different model like Gen 10 Plus, Gen 10 Plus version 2. And also DL model, if it is ends with five means, it is a AMD motherboard. If the DL model ends with zero means, it's a, it consists of Intel motherboard. Okay. And even similarly, within Proliant, there will be a lower version and higher version, starting from 325, 345, 6 series, 38 series, and 38A Gen 11. And even 5 means it's AMD motherboards. And similarly, there is a, some additional models like Proliant Excel series models also. And we also have Excel 450. And Simplivity, this is one of the HCA solution and Superdome Flux. These are all the supported HPE hardware model. These are all compatible for the ESXi 8.0. This is as of today. Suppose in future, if you want to check the any new model or anything, the procedure is still the same. We can uh, log into the VMware website, or go to the VMware hardware guide. You can find it accordingly. Or else, alternate easy method is within your Google, you can just type VMware compatibility space when you type pdf in search you can see the direct as a pdf guide also instead of searching we'll find a, let me open in a new tab and even not only ESXi compatibility guide we also have a guest OS compatibility guide and we also have IO compatibility guide we also have vSAN compatibility storage and SAN compatibility guide and vSAN ESA ESA is the latest model express storage architecture that model guides also available so when we open this PDF you can see all our ESXi host all the vendor partner model information is available. For example, if you see the first one, blue chip computer, it supported only until 7.0 U3. It won't support for the 8 series. Let me increase the font. Uh, suppose if you see Cisco model, this is all supported until 8.0 update. That means it's a latest model only. Some models it won't support it for 8 series. Some models it supported. If you see here, Dell PowerEdge are 660 access. It's supported only until 7.0. Suppose if the customer want to upgrade, we can suggest that this model is supports until 7.0 U3 only. And similarly, you can just control F and search your relevant models. For example, if I type Gen 9, Gen 9 models, Gen 9 models generally, uh, it's supported until the 7 series only. See, if you see here, Hablet Packard Blade Server Gen 9, 
it's supported until 7 series. If you see the Gen 11 model, it's supported until the latest version. That is a major difference. And the models, there are plenty of models. So it depends on your organization, customer location, server model. You can find the whether our ESX host is compatible or not and until which version it is compatible. Okay. And similarly, suppose if you want to see the guest voice within our ESX host 8.0 or 7 series, what is the supported guest voice versions? That information also you will find from this guide. Here also as similar as ESX, we can just control F and search the specific OS versions. For example, if you see here, uh, any di different models of OS appliances, some OS supported until 6.7, some OS says it will support for a 8 series as well. For example, Ubuntu, even if you see the Ubuntu, Ubuntu 14.01, it's supported until 6.7. Maybe if you go for a latest version only, it will support for a 7 series and 8 series. Yeah, if you see here, Ubuntu 16.04, this long term LTS means long term support. This edition is supported until 8.0 update. So, even though not only hardware ESX host, guest OS compatibility also available. And similarly, IO compatible guide PDF. Even IO compatibility guide also, it have all the peripheral information. Even if you want to validate the specific peripheral is supported to ESX 8 or not, we can control F and check using this IO guide. And same way, we also have a vSAN guide from VMware. Even vSAN guide, it will allow us to provide all the latest information. And make sure when you are downloading a guide, make sure it is a latest updated one. Currently, what I am showing the guide is updated on John 30th. It's, so it's not too old. It's a latest 2024 guide only. But uh, while searching, uh, while searching the on PDF, make sure it should be up to date latest version PDF and vSAN guide. Even vSAN guide also recently VMware released a new model of vSAN that is express storage architecture. If you see here, this guide last updated February 5. Okay, and the details are same. The model is if, when you have any specific model, you can search with the specific model and find the compatibility information. Okay, and the same way for specific to vSAN ESA model also. So like this, we can search the all the compatibility information, not only for ESX host, we can also search the compatibility for guest OS and also vSAN infrastructure. Hope you understand the, how we can validate the compatibilities. Either you can directly search from VMware compatibility guide, choose the specific model and run the update and view the results. That is one method. And another method you can find from a PDF, control F and search the specific model. That is second option. And third option, if you have a specific vendor model, let's say we already decided to VMware uh, planning to run on HP model. You can type in Google VMware space HP compatibility matrix. Even HP also maintains some compatibility matrix. Same way, if you want to run any other third party vendor, VMware space specific vendor name compatibility matrix, even vendor also maintain the compatibility matrix link. If you see within HP site, also, there is a ESX compatibility guide. If you see some models, Gen 11, definitely it support for latest and Gen 10, Gen 10 plus support for 7 also and Gen 9, it supported only until 6.5. That is the difference within the DL series and same way it's similar applicable for other series of servers also. One blind thumb rule is uh, Gen 11 until latest model, Gen 9 is until 6.5 U3 only. Okay, that is a easy to remember. Even Synergy also same procedure. Latest model, Gen 11, latest version. Gen 9 only until the 7.0 U3. It won't support for 8.0. Okay. So this is the three ways we can validate our ESX host hardware compatibility matrix. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignite Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.